Hi, I'm Arnaldo. In this video, we'll learn how to synchronize Outlook calendars in real time. On the left, I've got an Outlook account with a personal calendar. On the right, I've got a work account with a work calendar. The purpose of this video is to synchronize both calendars so when I create or update an event in a calendar, it's reflected to the other. There is a misconception that exporting a calendar and importing it to another account means the accounts are synchronized. That's not true. Let me show you why. I'll export the personal calendar and import it to the work account. To do so, let's click three dots, settings, go to calendar, shared calendars. I'm gonna publish the personal calendar now. And as permission, I'll choose can view all details. I'll publish it now and copy the ICS URL. I'll go to my work account and under the add calendar section, I'll click subscribe from web and paste the ICS URL that belongs to the personal calendar. I'll give the calendar a name, personal calendar, a color of yellow and import. As you see, Outlook has imported the personal calendar into my work account. But the difference is that this is now a separate calendar and it's not synchronized to my work account. So these two calendars are separate and it's very valuable for me to view both calendars under a single view, but it doesn't mean that they are synchronized. As soon as a team member on my work account chooses to book a meeting with me, they won't be able to see the meetings on the personal calendar, thus leading to meeting conflicts. To solve this issue, we have to use a calendar sync tool like OneKild. I'll head over to onekild.io now and see what's the difference between sharing and using a calendar sync tool. So with OneKild, you can synchronize all your calendars in real time. We support Outlook and Google account for the moment. Apple Calendar is coming soon. So you can synchronize a work, a work calendar to a personal calendar and vice versa. Or you can synchronize multiple calendars in real time. So it's not meant to be only synchronizing two calendars, but you can synchronize three, four, as many calendars as you want. So I'm gonna get started now for free. I'll sign in with Google. I'll enter my name and hit continue. And I'll connect my Outlook calendars. I'll connect a work account and a personal account. I'll connect my personal calendar and work calendar and click import. Right after I land on the dashboard, I can see that I've connected two calendars and I'm greeted with the synchronization screen that allows me to synchronize the calendars. I'm going to start new sync here. I'm going to give the, the sync a name of personal work. Now, OneKind offers one-way or multi-way syncs. One-way means that events are copied from a calendar to another. And multi-way means that the calendar stays in sync automatically. So if you create an event in a calendar, it goes to the other and vice versa. I'm going to hit multi-way here because I want the personal and work calendar to stay in sync. I'll hit next, select both calendars to sync, hit next. This is the most important step because here we choose what to sync. And that's the difference between sharing and using one card because you can choose what to sync. For example, you can hide all event details if you want to keep privacy or just synchronize whatever you see fit, like an event title description. You can add a title when synchronizing nothing here. For example, I'll say all the events are busy and I'll mark them with a color of green and start syncing them. One kind has synchronized the calendars now. I'm going to leverage the built-in calendar view to view both calendars. As you see, each calendar has an original event and the event that's cloned. For example, let's go over the work calendar here. The work calendar has the work-related events, daily stand-ups, and the events created by OneKind, which belong to the personal calendar, worded as busy. Same for the personal calendar. It has the personal events and the events that are synchronized from the work calendar. Note that the synchronization is automatic and in real time. For example, I'm going to open my calendar here. Uh, if I see my personal calendar here, it has the work events, 
and vice versa. The work calendar has personal events. On the work calendar, I'll create a meeting now uh, on Wednesday the 8th on 12 p.m. I'll say 101 with Heraldo here and hit save. I'll go to one Kyle and you'll see that one Kyle has picked the change. One Kyle automatically detects the change on uh, the calendar Swift Sync then synchronizes them. So I'll go to the personal calendar now and check for Wednesday 8. Is if you, as you see here, it has synchronized the event as busy. And same if I create an event on the personal calendar at 8 a.m. on my personal calendar like uh, gym again. I'll hit save here. One card has detected the change automatically in a matter of seconds. And then if I open my work calendar here and hit refresh, you can see that the event is synchronized. Same if we open the calendar view, everything is reflected in real time. You can leverage one card to create multi-calendar scheduling links like Calendly. You can also invite your team and manage them, create a group scheduling link and much more. If you have questions regarding syncing calendars or calendaring in general, just let us know and we'll do our best to help you. Thanks.